when I walk up in the club and sing Everybody want to know my name Yeah, here comes the glass roll Yeah, here comes the glass roll For six years, the Chinese military has been brought in on hacking my brain. It sounds crazy that Xi would be able to access my brain. And Xi's daughter, and Xi's son, no one knows Xi has a son. He, oh God, he has a small penis. I think you guys don't get it, like, he literally told me, like, his penis is small. Like, he, he, t he talked to me about women laughing at his penis. Like, it was like weird having that fucking conversation. It was, it's like, that didn't happen. It's complicated. Like I told him that a woman laughed at me once and he, he like, it, and then like when we started talking about penis sizes, it turned to like, I don't think you understand. Like when that, when you were talking about women laughing, it was like, it was the weirdest fucking conversation. It was weird. Okay. <clears throat> so G does not hack my brain very often. He's too busy. G doesn't know like, anything it was crazy like she got like filled in on like all these spies i know like yesterday she wasn't the one that told me about the chinese military's plan to attack the united states um it was she's general he's from Tsinghua university um he is a it, it's like you're like no he's not from Tsinghua. i guessed it like you don't understand like He's that guy. He is the fucking guy. He's the guy that's been brainwashing me to hate the Chinese. Like, you don't understand these people. Like, the Chinese... There are 60,000 Chinese people that can read my thoughts. You would never believe that. They can't fucking understand my thoughts. Isn't it weird? Like, you can't understand the English thoughts, but like, no, I went to Tsinghua University. I'm the best English speaker in China. No, your dad's important. So, there was a girl in my head. I'm a female. Like, it turns to that, like, because this, this guy... He led me to tell the American military it's time to kill the Chinese. We have to, right now, they're, they're literally launching an attack against us. And, like, it got to the point that we were being mean to this guy. It was, it was like, the craziest thing yesterday. Like, you don't understand, like, what it's like when you go to a, into a nuclear war with Xi and you've got Xi's daughter in your head and, like, She's like, you don't understand how much I hate Americans. I hate you. And you're telling her, like, you have a fetish for me. And she goes, I don't think you understand. Like, I hate Americans. And, and like, and, and, and then you tell her, like, the only, like, apparently Xi's daughter doesn't need to masturbate when everyone else is masturbating. And she goes, of course I masturbate. And it turned into, like, everyone is so mad that Xi's daughter masturbates so much with me. And then I find out what Xi's daughter says when she speaks, per, speaks English. She's the one that always says, that girl is a person. And like, when, when they said that, I was like, G's daughter is always in my brain. And it's like, dude, you don't understand. The people that are hacking your brain are literally Chinese. And they are, it's like, you know, and like, and the Chinese brain hackers are hacking the Americans. It sounds crazy. Like, and like, apparently someone reported something to everyone like that, um, we need to, that some, in my head, I thought, I want to destroy the, destroy the United States government. And like that person went, I don't think I would actually think those words, destroy the United States government. And like, it was crazy. Like yesterday, like we spent so much time talking about the word, sh no, it wasn't like such as such as such. And, and like, it was like, you're not American. And like, it turned into like me looking for like, um, but for like, for like them having grammatical problems, apparently I was correcting the Chinese general that everyone knows he's the best. Dude, that Chinese general, his plan is IC, ICBMs. Apparently, um, China believes that their nuclear stockpile is bigger than ours because they have such a close relationship with the um, Russians and the Africans. And um, they know they have to kill us. And um, they never knew that I knew I had to kill them. Like, it was weird yesterday, like, when I, after I told the United States military, like, we desperately need to attack the Chinese military, they know national security secrets to the point that it's like, you don't want me to know that national security secret because they know it. Like, it was weird. Like, we got to the point where, like, they're, like, constantly telling me, like, 
you don't understand. You're in Colorado Springs. You're fucking dead. I know I'm dead. Like, Xi's daughter, like, really needs you to know that she's going to kill you. She's going to kill you. She is that person. Dude, Chinese general, how many people has he killed? A hundred with fucking poison. You don't even understand that. Like, there is nothing, like, actually knowing the Chinese military. Like, you guys don't understand, like, the Chinese military knows nothing about you. Like, they have so many spies, they don't know anything about you. They can't fucking understand you. Oh, that guy's from there. He's a spy. That's a government place. And that guy's got a computer. We're going to have to kill him. Like, it turns into, like, they're finding out about people in my head, and they're thinking, I need to kill that guy. And they're like, you can't kill that guy. You don't even know what that guy's like. It's like, you know who he is? I just learned, out, I learned about him today. Of course you did. So, the Chinese military is afraid to carry guns. I am serious. Because, like, the way that the Chinese were tricked is the Italians are in charge of hacking people's brains. The Americans have no idea what's going on. The Americans are super confused. Every single American is not in on it ever again. We were just tricking the Jewish people, which, like, dude, it is fucking complicated. And, like, and like it turns to, like, Alex wants to carry a gun in Italy. I, 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 if I'm going to have the Italian government who is, like, all in on it, working with me, I can carry a gun in Italy. You'll give me a, a, a car because I'm going to go take my money in Bitcoin that they already have. Like the, the Italians already have my Bitcoin that I've made illegally that I've never had. And I'll get it when I'm there. And like, it's, it's like that. And like the Chinese like never comprehended like the full situation. It was crazy. And like, it turns into like the Chinese are so afraid to carry guns. And like, you don't even get the Chinese. Like, it was like the fucking, it was like a funeral yesterday. It was weird. Like, I think that like, they couldn't log out because like, they couldn't handle it. Like, they had to go get G. Like, it was weird. I talked to the general until like, I had told the Americans, we have to. They have literally sent their ships out already. You don't understand. They have fishing boats that are gigantic, that do not look gigantic. They look like a fucking poor person's fishing boat. And their plan is to get their country nuked. They know we have so many ICBMs. Their country is going to have a massive amount, of, massive amount of dead people. Everyone who survives is going to be in the Navy. And they're going to evacuate. They're going to leave China. And they're going to leave on fishing boats. And those fishing boats are going to have so many nuclear weapons in the bottom that they are going to completely overwhelm the United States with fishing boat based. Um, and and it, it turned into like, oh, God. We need to make sure Joe Biden's in charge. We need to make sure Joe Biden's in charge for when we launch a nuclear attack on the United States. Alex is okay with it. And it turned into like, dude, Alex is okay with like not being in the United States for sure. It was, it was like crazy. It was like, this general was talking to me yesterday and he was like, I thought it was important to let you know that like, I have a plan to assassinate you. And I think you're the only person in the United States I have to assassinate. And you don't understand like, this war is like, I will assassinate you. And he's like, I think it was so important that I let you know that. And it's like, I think it was so important that I let you know that like, I'm in Colorado Springs and like, you're a fucking, it's like you're fucking like Neanderthals. Like I, I literally think that you are a different fucking type of human. Like I am like a completely different type of human. And I think that everyone's like, that's racist. That's racist. There's nothing more racist than thinking you're a different type of human. I think like you have no idea like how stupid this person is. Like you will never understand what it's like talking to a Chinese general and like he tells you, I can't ride in a submarine. We don't have submarines because I can't ride in a submarine. All I'm afraid of in the entire world is General Dynamics boats that are mostly underwater and, the, and they're generally over water. It's like General Dynamics invented a boat and the Chinese had to copy it. I'll copy it, but I'm gonna make a fishing boat. And like, it turns into like, I think the pro, I, uh, no, it, like literally, like we start like getting the point with this conversation that everyone needs to tell me that um, I killed my people because I'm afraid to ride in a submarine. And it was, it was crazy because like they had literally decided that they're launching an attack on the United States. Like they had already decided. And um, suddenly it's like, I can't believe I'm so bad at war because I'm afraid of the politicians riding in a submarine. You know, I think you guys don't get it. Like this was my literal, like it was like, like, like pe random people come like, I can't believe 
I can't believe I'm so afraid to ride in a submarine. I would never ride in a submarine. And it's like, yeah, I told the American military that like seven years ago, you got into my brain six years ago. You don't even know what I told Obama. What I told Barack Obama, this is how I talked to him in my head yesterday. What I said to Barack Obama when he was president after the United States economy collapsed, everyone's money was so bad. After I told Barack Obama, never build another intercontinental ballistics missile. Never make a missile you have to use a satellite for because I thought Xi might actually have smart people who work for him. The Chinese are like people who know intercontinental ballistics missiles are so important. It is their country. They talked about the missiles. They told me they are a source of our pride in our country. I told them a country who has, a, has pride in building something that my friend, his friend, who is dead, he took pictures of when they built the first intercontinental ballistics missiles in the United States. He's dead because he is so old. He used to take pictures of the impact of like the moment of the nuclear weapons exploding. He is so old. He is dead because he made missiles that are your country's pride before you were alive, at least Xi's daughter. And I think that she knows Colorado Springs is dead. You are dead. Xi told me, I know you're not dead. It was weird. Xi told me that no one will tell him anything. No one told Xi that I have a plan to kill every single person in China. I am not a general in the United States military. I am Satan. I am literally a clone of a man named Satan. Xi's number one general told me, I can't believe you're smarter than I am. Or you're, I can't believe you're smarter than me. I told him, I can't believe a person that has never read a book about World War II is a person who just told that person that he can't believe that he is smarter than me. I told him, eight years ago, when Barack Obama spent so much money on the United States military, I told him, you will never make another intercontinental ballistics missile. You need to fix all of our old submarines. We have thousands. The Chinese are afraid of riding in a submarine because everyone in the military is very, very important. They are the entire society. Xi told me, I am always surprised by how you understand that it is the Chinese military in charge of China, not the government. I told Xi, you will never understand who I am friends with. I told Xi, everyone I'm friends with yesterday. I told Xi about my friend who does Air Force deployments. She decides where they go. I told Xi about my friend who's a major, who's a very serious hacker. I told Xi about my friend who deals with, I told Xi about a lot of my friends that deal with nuclear weapons. I told Xi that I am a person who people walk up to and tell him, I have a problem. Nuclear materials were stolen from me. Xi told me, that he would be very afraid if nuclear materials were stolen. Xi and I talked about how Americans will use civilian cars to transport nuclear weapons. Xi 
was really surprised by that. Xi thought that was weird. Xi knows he is a humble man. Xi told me that he was he's that close with Hu Jintao. Hu Jintao is the most important person that Xi knows. Xi loves Hu Jintao. Hu Jintao is someone that Xi loves passionately. Xi was personally chosen by Hu Jintao. I told Xi that he was chosen because he is a person who is very, very nice and fakes like he's humble and is tall. Xi told me, I am tall. Xi said, I can't believe you know I am tall. I told Xi, I know why you are in charge. It is because you are tall. It is very confusing to Xi that the Chinese military has a problem. They all are descended from Genghis Khan, who was a very, very violent man. Xi told me, I don't think you understand the Chinese. We are the type of people that don't want to carry a gun. We're afraid of guns. The Americans are people who really aren't afraid to have a gun on them. I don't understand why you're not afraid of having a gun. I told Xi that I think that that's why they're in that country. Because there is nothing more important to me than that you are a pussy. I believe it is important that you are afraid of riding in a submarine. And you personally told me you are afraid of submarines. Your general told me that you can, that he, he's going to die if I tell the Americans about his plan for the fishing boat. I told him, you're going to die. Xi knows he's not going to die. Xi told me he is in a bunker. He's hiding. He's not going to die. He reached the point that he told me, I am so glad I'm in a bunker. You and me. I told his daughter, I am so glad that you have orgasms with me so often because I'm going to kill you now. And I think that Xi's men were very angry at me because I really, really was happy that I had the opportunity to have a conversation with them inside my head before I killed everyone in China. And Xi said, I think you're going to feel so bad about this someday. And I told Xi, I will if I ever think about it. And I won't at all because you just told me I already launched my ships before you, like, you know, he told me he launched his, he had already launched his ships after I told the American military, it was time to kill him right now. You have to kill him. It's like desperate. Like you have to kill him. You don't understand. Like you have to kill them. It was weird. G thinks that Alex is scary. You're the person I need to kill if we're doing World War III. Alex thinks that Xi is the dumbest person for thinking that only Alex is the person who has a plan to kill everyone in China. Because Xi really thinks that only Alex is the person who has a plan to kill everyone in China. Xi does not believe in intrusion detection systems for SCADA networks. You understand, Xi. There is nothing like consulting with the Chinese military on, on cyber security. You don't understand. I can't hack the military. It turned into like, what do you get from him? So you hack the military, right? I've got him. Have you ever got anything good from a military person? Trust me, I can hack the military. You can hack me. I will let you hack me. I'll make sure that when you hack me, your daughters who's spying on me because I want to make sure that like the Chinese royal families who's masturbating and like I don't think that anybody will ever find a person as fucked up in the head as me like I want to make sure she knows like you better get some lubricant because like I'm not gonna let you touch your pussy and I think you don't play with your asshole ever and you need to figure out what it's like and like when she gets told that she fucking quivers and she's like she's like you don't understand I hate you and, every, and she starts telling me you don't understand how much she hates you and I'm like you understand her sexual relationship. Like I explained it to Z, G, and she told me I didn't understand it at all. Like, I don't know why no one tells me this. Like he needed to understand. It was like he needed to understand why, um, 
why his people were brainwashed. Because like, he couldn't figure out like what was happening here. It's like, what's happening is you got tricked into telling me your entire plan, into telling me about the Shenzhen industrial complex, which you said is your entire nuclear arsenal after I planned the war. It's like, I'm watching the attack and I, told, and, and I told him about Shenzhen. He was like, well, you know about that? He was, why did no one tell me that he knows about Shenzhen? It was crazy. I think it's Shenzhen, it's north of Hong Kong where they dig rare earth minerals and like they have tunnels. Like you will never stop our tunnels where we dig for rare earth minerals and we've got bunkers. I think Xi was surprised that a person can think with his brain. How do you know it's the industrial complex? How do I know you dug a hole that was really big and you thought you could hide in it? It's called, um, I'm not fucking Chinese. And that's the thing about the Chinese. Like there is nothing like a general that is so concerned. I think they probably got like four of those boats from General Dynamics, the ones that are on top there. They're little and then like on the bottom, they're big. That's what I'm afraid of. If you ever get an opportunity to kill the General Dynamics boat, you need to make sure you launch a nuclear weapon out of your yacht. It turned into that. You just gotta kill one of them. And like, the guy who really thinks I need to kill a brand new boat is a guy that doesn't give a fuck about Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That was the talk yesterday. Yesterday, I told the Chinese military, Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the president after the New Deal. The New Deal was to help the United States economy. We had our money connected to gold. There's gold and cash. And we connected it. It was called the gold standard. You can trade your cash for gold. The government said, no more gold. You can't have gold. You need cash. The government took lots of cash. They printed cash. And they gave everyone a job in America. Building submarines because they knew they were going to kill the Chinese someday. And I think the Chinese who can't build a submarine are very, very confused by the fact that a, a weapon built in like 1955 or 1960 can come out and overwhelm him. Xi knows the Cold War was very serious. Xi knows during the Cold War we had intercontinental ballistics missiles. Xi needs to have what we had 40 years ago. And if he has it, I will kill the Americans. It was funny talking to Xi. No, it was funny talking to Xi's son because I don't think you understand the small penis thing. It's like, I, when you talk to me about women laughing, it was like, I am so close with you. And it is weird. Like, he's my friend. Like, I think Xi's son is my friend. It is so confusing because like, I'm making fun of Xi's son's penis. Xi's son is not a communist. And I think everyone in China is very confused by how Xi Sun is not a China, not a communist. I think Xi knows he's not communist. Xi knows a lot. It, it's hard to understand Xi. Xi is his number one concern. Xi's number one problem is people need to kill him. Xi hates that he needs to carry a gun because Xi is afraid of his own gun. Xi wants his men to carry guns for him. Xi explained to me that his friend, his men sometimes have problems emotionally because they carry a gun and they feel like they need to draw it all the time. It was weird because when you understand that the Chinese people are afraid to carry a gun and not shoot it, you understand the Chinese people. They need Xi in charge. She's the best. Everyone knows she's the best. I love Xi. She. She's the best. She will save all of us. She's daughter's the best. She's going to be in charge someday. She's daughter's in the Chinese military. You will never find a person that tells you, I don't think you understand. I'm a military expert. And when a military expert tells Alex, I don't need an IDS in a SCADA network. What Alex tells you is here's why you're a fucking idiot. And a person that finds out they're a fucking idiot is a person that goes, wait, okay, I have to have an idiot. It turned into that. I don't believe in it. And it's because Xi 
thinks that a war is him hiding in a bunker and G only wants to hide in a bunker. And a person that really wants to hide in a bunker is a person that thinks I won't kill every single person in China after I blow up all their satellites because G knows you can't do that. I can't do it. I can't go to the moon. And your family member, he went to the moon. No, G doesn't know that. He probably does. G thinks, G's daughter told me, I don't think you understand. The Americans don't actually think you're anyone. They don't think you're important at all. I don't think you understand. You moved to Italy, they don't care about you. I told her, you will never, ever understand my brain, but you should probably touch your pussy. <laughs>